or it might look muted, but during that transfer process, it's going to come to life. All right, let's do an ori some original dark blue. Okay. And then I'm also gonna add some purple. And then I think I just might do some clouds to finish it off. Now you guys know that as you guys saw in the app, I'm, I'm not the in-house artist. I am the sales manager at Artistry and I help with a little marketing. We do um, what you make in Monday in the craft room on Mondays in the, in the group on Facebook. So I'm just gonna do some clouds, keep it really simple. And I'm using a, um, a smooth hardboard unisub coaster. That's the blank that we're using. Sprite, forgive me, but I don't have my uh, Condi uh, product codes memorized. All right, it's U5677. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna keep coloring. Oh, um, I just wanted to mention to everybody that uh, the 10 pack of original markers is on sale for our open house. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Artistry for allowing us to do that. I have to be honest with you, Sprite. I'm having trouble hearing you, which is why we had you on the computer. So um, Allison might have to like unmute you while you talk and then re-mute. Well, sorry, I don't know why we're having this technical difficulty. So Allison, you wanna go ahead and unmute your volume so I can hear Sprite and then re-mute it so you don't hear the echo? Yeah. Go ahead, Sprite. Okay, so what I was saying, is thank you to Artist Free for allowing us to discount the 10 pack of markers today. So if you guys want to get in on those uh, Artist Free markers, check out the new packs or check out the 10 packs. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're so happy to support you in any way that we can. And when you asked if we could do run that special, I was happy to do that. I think I'm going to add a sun real quick, you guys. Nobody's allowed to um, judge my coloring abilities here. But um, I'm going to keep talking about some different ways that you guys can use the markers while I'm continuing to color. So something else um, that has become ever so popular um, lately is um, personalization parties, right? So what's so cool is you guys, a lot of you guys have heat presses. Now, you guys might have some really um, in, for like professional heat presses and you're asking, okay, how would I take my big heat press to a, uh, to a personalization party? So the way I would answer that is um, Condi, I know, has uh, some great little um, George Knight heat presses. There's a 9 by 12 swing away. It's also purple, which I think is really cool. And so uh, you just have to look. There are some um, heat presses out there that just have a nice smaller footprint, if you will. Um, yes, they might be a little bit, you know, heavy, but I highly, re and some other people were talking about an easy press, and we actually have um, the easy press here, uh, we do use it, but here's the thing. If you're doing multiples of uh, blanks at once, even some of these smaller ones, you know, you're going to want to keep an eye on that make and take table where the markers and the copy paper and the, and the attendees are, are sitting because you want to make sure they're mirroring their text. You want to make sure that they are coloring outside the lines because what we found is they might come up and like have just colored in the lines just so because let's be real we've always been taught to color outside the lines but not with artistry we want you to color outside the lines because then when you go to transfer then you don't have to have it like just so in the right you know what i mean like i'll be able to have a little cloud hanging off and then that way there's no white space like let's say they really filled in the space you want to encourage them to color outside the lines so then that way there's no um no chance that um that you'll have some white showing so let's go ahead and press um when I, so again this is just regular copy paper um and you know what i can't help myself i'm just going to add a little bit of orange i just feel like the sun needs a little bit more um so personalization parties yes uh different heat sources we've touched on oh and the reason you don't really want to use an, uh, an easy press yes it'll work a home iron will work but you want to be able to press turn around talk to people, answer questions, because believe you me, they're gonna have a lot of questions. So it's much easier to just be able to press. As you know, then you have 60 seconds, right? To do what you need to do to, to talk to some attendees, to um, answer some questions. So that's one of the reasons I recommend and in maybe investing in a, a small press that's 
um, like less than, I think they're less than like $300. So, okay, so now I'm going to take my poster and I'm going to tape it down. We always recommend heat tape. So that way you don't have any um, shift during the process to, to do any ghosting. Okay, and then I'm gonna create my sublimation sandwich. Now, at Artist Free, we recommend for protective paper, silicone paper. Um, Condi carries this. Again, uh, spray, forgive me, I don't know what, uh, what uh, <laughs> Condi co product code um, siliconized paper is, but we like siliconized paper because you can reuse it depending on how much ink you have on it. Um, we just think it's a little more friendly and because you have things at, at such high temperatures, it's been tested and proven and actually specifically made to uh, work with high, high heat. So we use siliconized paper to make our sublimation sandwiches here at Artist Free. Okay, so here we go. I'm ready to make my sublimation sandwich. Actually, I'm gonna cut this, this in half, make it really easy. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over I call it outside the line, so we definitely need that piece of paper underneath and on top. My uh, heat press is set for 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Oh, hold on, I got a little bit of a temp issue. Okay, one second. I'm gonna give that a little minute to heat up, but while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and create something with the stamp pad. Let me make sure I got that good. Okay, it's on its way. So let's go ahead and make something with the Uh -huh. is where that, um, uh, hold on, it's asking if it wants to unmute me. My phone's asking me a question. Oh, so, shoot, sorry, I don't know what happened. For some reason, are you good? good? No, uh, <laughs> Allison, I think yours is on again. It's, it's, it's um, on. Yeah. <laughs> if you can just mute yours, Allison, there you go. You're, you're good, Ashley. Is that better, Sprite? Yes, yes. This is all part of the fun of the live, you guys. <laughs> this is all part of the fun of the live, right? Okay, and I see Allison, she's like, I can't even read the comments. They're like going like a million miles a minute. I know she's over there like, like going, answering all the questions. So, are we good now, Sprite? Yes, we are good, yes. Okay, okay great. So um, we, okay, back to the stamp pad. Okay, so the stamp pad comes in black. The reason we did that was for this exact reason, making takes with people, getting people involved in sublimation. They were like, I can't draw. And I, we were like, okay, so we'll do black. So then that way it's basically the outline of a stamp and then you can color it in with the markers, okay? It also, um, we've taken care of that reverse, um, reverse stamp. So traditional stamps are reversed. So then that way on the paper, they stand correctly like the birthday card, right? But we want ours to be reversed on the paper. So we came out with sublimation stamps that are already, so those are not reversed. So then that way on the paper, they are reversed. So then that way on the blank, it's good to go. So we came out with um, a set of, we call them the hand-lettered basics, and Connie has this. Um, it has friend, hello, peace, love, happy, travel, and woof. So some just some fun, you know, um, little sayings that everybody can relate to one of them for sure. So these are great to have on the table, and these are cling stamps, okay? So I just learned about these myself within the last year because as we joke here at Artist Free that we're chemist gone crafters. Okay, so uh, we have, um, these, are, these are traditional stamps, okay? So somebody had their thinking cap, cap on and said, wow, these are getting pretty cumbersome in my maker space, right? And so let's think of a way that we can um, work smarter, not harder, right? So they came out with the acrylic stamp block, okay? So this is like the new age stamp, and Condi has this as well, okay? So what you're gonna do, instead of having a bunch of stamps, you know, attached to a wooden block, like piling up, you just have these and then you interchange them on the stamp block, okay? It's really easy, we're gonna do one right now. So we have the hand letter basics, which are really fun. And then we also have, and I joke that we did this just for Camp Condi, is we came out with a summer 
themed camp set, which Condi has as well. Um, it's a mix of designs and tech stamps, and there's like 18 stamps on here. It's awesome. It's a full set of stamps. So you get this and one uh, acrylic block, and you are like ready to go. So that's what we have. And Con like I said, Condi has all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and open my um, stamp pad. And actually, I'm going to trace my poster first. So then that way, I know exactly what space I'm working with. And again, we're tracing with a pencil. Allison, are there any questions I should answer? Um, we were talking about protective paper a little bit. Later. Okay, we're talking about protective paper. Yes, we just, butcher paper is meant for cold cuts. So we just were, because we're chemist strong crafters, we're all about safety. And so we just like siliconized paper because it's specifically meant for heat, high heat, multiple times. So that's why we like it because it's, we're using it for its intended purpose, if you will. That's why we like that, that siliconized paper. Okay, so let's, um, and what's also really cool about the acrylic block, and I know you guys definitely can't see it on camera, but it has grid lines. So you can line the stamp up nice and straight. And then you can, and it's also transparent, right? So you can see where I can make sure that I'm getting it exactly in my little square. Someone asked how they um, attach to the stamp block. And I just said- You just literally stick. just peel and stick. It is so easy. You, they're interchangeable. And actually, I'll, after I do this one, we'll, I'll interchange it so you guys can see. So I'm gonna do an owl. I took the owl from the, um, the camp set. And I also took friend from the hand lettered basics. And I'm going to go ahead and just get this all nice and inked up. I've been using this one a lot, so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press. And like I said, I knew exactly where um, I needed it to go because it was see-through and it had grid lines so that made things really easy. And you guys think about, oh my gosh, so cute. And you guys think about like, you can think about, and I know right now it's hard to think about parties with everything that's going on. And I do have some ideas in regards to pandemic, right? So I do, I had, I did put some thought into that, but like if you live in a town where bachelorette parties are prevalent, you could do the tumblers with the, with the um, shrink wrap. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? And you could charge like $20 to do your own tumbler for a hundred percent. So that's what's really cool about um, hosting like a personalization party is you're providing everything from the blank to the supplies so they can make their own um, make their own project. And they're water-based, so I'm just gonna um, wipe this off to keep it nice and clean. We've got a couple questions. We've got more questions. Okay. okay. How long will the block keep sticking to the rubber stamp pads? Um, until you take them off. Yeah, until you take them off. So like it's, you know, not to, this is an ice cream, right? I'm like, I'm turning a concrete mixer upside down, but like, it's not gonna fall off. These are, these, these polymer cling stamps is what they're called, are specifically made and formulated to be used with the acrylic block. Um, let me check on my heat press. Okay, it's almost done. And, and, and how do you clean them? So they're water-based. So I just use like a, a wipe. Um, Cheryl, she's got like a cute little spray bottle. I've actually get one of those. Um, and then you can spray it. There's also a stamp chamois. This is really cool. You know, they just have thought of everything, you guys. This is a stamp chamois, so I just wet it and it'll loosen it right up and I can use that to clean my stamps too. Um, paper towel and water. But you, this ink is powerful. You guys know sublimation ink is powerful, so you do want to clean it as soon as possible. What are we laughing? Gonna... I'm laughing because they've been asking about the mini press, but I was like not considering that a mini press. So to them, it is a mini press. So I, I'm just saying, I'm sorry. So I this thought is... this was not a mini press. So, so it's so funny because but, well, Allison, who's, who's the keyboard <laughs> warrior sorry. over there, she's new to our industry, new to sublimation. So she, she hasn't, I mean, we have like a really cool heat press downstairs on wheels with the stylus and stuff, but she hasn't really had too much experience to know about all the heat presses out there. So this is a nine by 12 artist free heat press. Um, it's black, it has a small footprint. So it's the same size as that um, George Knight swing away. So if you have, you know, some people like swing away more than clamshells. So they all have their different um, pros and cons, but yes, this does have a mini footprint. So, <laughs> so sorry. I'm like asking about it. The like, mini I'm press, the mini heat press. No, it's a nine by 12 clamshell 
black key press from Artistry, and it's the same size as I think, um, Sprite, correct me, is that the smallest press that you guys carry? Uh, the JP12, I think it's uh, 14 by 12. Okay. So you have options, you have options. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in my, um, my owl here, okay? And um, again, so now my, my sublimation stamp from the hand lettered basics is nice and reverse for me, so that's easy. But yeah, going back to like bachelorette parties, they can use the stamp pad to make the tumblers. How cool would that be? Um, bridal showers, baby showers. Um, I've seen people do a onesie, so like, do a, DIY onesies are popular at baby showers, but what the problem is, is like they're doing it with puffy paint and maybe like fabric paint that might not be approved for kids. So yes, it's fun, but are they really gonna use it, right? Like it was a fun time, but are they really gonna use it? So what I did was I had everybody, or I recommend that you cut out, um, or excuse me, draw like little designs, and you guys could print these out like baby themed, things with your sublimation printer, reverse them, have everybody, have everybody color them in, cut them down, tape them on the, tape them on the onesie and then press and boom, it's just like normal sublimation. They're gonna have it for a, a long, long time. It's not gonna wash out. It's just like that traditional sublimation. And like I said, they're actually gonna use it. So that's the thing is like, before a lot of, you know, what's really cool is now we're taking and creating the ability for you guys to use um, tangible products. So like another thing that I thought of is if you're at a farmer's market, right, you've got your booth, you could set up two um, bar stools here, people could color, I would charge maybe like $5 for a little make and take and then have all of your stuff um, on display, all your traditional sublimation stuff, you know, go ahead and attach a business card. Uh, maybe it's a, maybe you want to do the little Unisub um, uh, keychains, and you can. I recommend like the keychains, the bookmarks, the magnets. People really like magnets. Um, love the coasters, but just think: the bigger the coaster, the more time they're going to take to color it. Okay. More questions. Questions. More do, questions. Do the different colors mix or bleed like when a child colors into another color? No. So like, so you can blend them if you want. But if like, let's, I guess if what you're asking, like let's say you, um, you draw a heart with a black marker and then your child like goes like this, is it gonna smear the black? No, you're gonna be a-okay. And same with the, um, the sublimation ink from the stamp pad. Correct. And, um, and someone commented about the uh, not, not a good idea using pen on sublimation paper, correct? We recommend copy paper. Yes, copy paper. Um, save that sublimation paper for when you need it because you don't need it here. Um, and that's what's really great. If someone messes up, right, it's not on the blank. It's not on, um, it's not on sub, you know, expensive sublimation paper, just regular copy paper. So you can be like, uh, just redo it. Sorry, you know, like just don't cry. Just grab someone a new sheet of copy paper. Someone says it actually bleeds when on sublimation paper. So that's right, that's really, one yeah. of the reasons that we also don't recommend. The paper is going to affect um, not only the nib, but it's also not going to. You know, if you think about it, sublimation paper ha is textured, so it's not going to be like a smooth coloring surface. So it just doesn't work well. And I want to make sure you show them that. Okay. All right, so I'm adding a little yellow because yellow pops, it's so bright. I'm also gonna add a little orange. So um, let me see, uh, some other ideas. Um, we talked about birthday parties, we talked about bachelorette parties, baby showers. Um, if something that I thought would be really cool is if you did something for like a wedding, um, you know, you could have like a DIY station and you could um, make a stamp like, um, you know, maybe with their, you know, the date and things like that, and they could stamp it, or you could have that printed out on your sublimation printer, and then they could color it in, and that could be their party favor. They created their own party favor from the wedding, so that's something else that I thought of. Um, Someone said you could use a mug press, I said a Yes, uh, you can use our markers and stamp pads with all regular sublimation blanks. As long as it's made for sublimation, it will work. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make my um, thing a little thicker. Do you wanna talk about, the, we were talking about a little bit um, a while ago about the pens, how long they last, storage, sure. vertical, horizontal, maybe touch on that. Okay, so the pens, if you were to take a pen and draw a straight line, cause it's hard to say like, oh, if you did X amount of stars or hearts or something like that. So if you were to take a pen, you were to draw a straight line, 
it would go over four football fields, okay? It is, there's a lot of ink in these pens, I promise you. And then also storage is really important. So you'll notice that I have my markers, um, I have them tipped down during use, and then I'm also going to keep them back to horizontal use when I'm not using them, okay? So tip down during use, and then you wanna put them in like a tray, or uh, you can put them back in the box, of course, um, but you're gonna wanna store your markers horizontally and then tip down during use, and that'll just uh, keep the lifetime of the marker. But if you find, because um, they do run out eventually, right? It's not infinite and you find that your color is like a little, you know, it could be running out because you've just been about the holder. Okay, you just want to put that marker tip down to recharge it and it should be good to go. So uh, Rhonda says, I'm confused. You say print on the outline of the sublimation paper, use sublimation paper or copy paper. So you would use copy paper. So thank you, that's a great question. So you're gonna print using your sublimation printer on regular copy paper. Yes, yes. Regular copy paper. So thank you. That's a thank you for clarifying. That's a great question. With Rhonda. Thanks, Rhonda. I appreciate that. Keeping me in check because I know I'm talking very fast, but we've got a lot, a lot of information to cover. So let's see. Did I think of oh uh, family reunions, um, gender reveals, engagement parties? And you guys, that's what's so cool about um knowing that little Sharpie trick. You could have people sign their name, flip it over, trace their name. And then all of a sudden you have something like, almost like a guest book, right? Of the, of the uh, thing. So I'm just gonna, I taped my poster down just like I did the first one. I'm gonna cut it out. How's it, do we have any more questions? Is, is the ink pad required or just the marker? So I think people are maybe- So that you, okay, so listen, you have to have the markers. You have to have the ink pad in order to use your stamps. You have to have the markers in order. So the markers and the stamp pad are what you have to have, okay? I think maybe they're talking about refilling or something. They're not refillable. So nothing at this time is refillable. But you just connect with us on social media and you just stay tuned because we've got a lot of stuff we're working on. A lot, a lot. A lot, lot of stuff. <laughs> so connect with us on YouTube. Um, Facebook, like I mentioned earlier, we have a Facebook group. It's called Iron on Ink Inspirational Group on Facebook. And they're gonna know first. I have to be I have to be real with you guys. We're gonna tell them first what we have out next. So join our group if you want to stay in the know because we're nowhere near done. The best is yet to come. And uh yeah, I'm uh, sorry, Spray, I know I'm talking. Are, are we good? Is, is you want Yeah, you're you got 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes. I got 20 minutes. Okay, great. Okay. So let's press something. I'm not talking. Okay. So let's see. So what's nice about this is I can do two coasters at once. I've made my sublimation sandwich with my siliconized protective paper. I am at 460 seconds and we will press. And that's good. Okay. So we talked about birthday parties, schools, fundraising. You could get involved with your school and then get involved with their events like uh, pep rallies and field days and um, book fairs, uh, uh, you know, spirit days, you know, th those kind of things. And you can help fundraise and you could even find someone to sponsor you, which would be really cool. You could take a small percentage and then you can charge for each make and take. So one of the questions that people said, how can I market this, right? You can use the term make and take. You can learn, you could do try sublimation. You could do, you could use our phrase iron on ink when, because that kind of helped people get, you know, an idea of it. Um, you can use all of those terms to um, draw people into your booth or your, your sublimation station so they can uh, learn more about it. Um, some other things, we talked about farmer's markets, you know, hosting a, 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 um, a make and take, but one thing that um, I didn't touch on that I want to touch on and make sure I get my, my gloves here is a lot of the Unisub products are double-sided, okay? So like what you could do, you could do a complimentary make and take, you know, if you have the ability to do that and put your business on the other side. Let them create on one side and then they're gonna create on the other, okay? So here we go, the reveal's the best part. Cute. Hey. Woo, Kande! Okay, so I'm gonna let that cool, and then let's check out our stamp. Let's check out our stamp. 
Here we go. Yay. It does. It looks great. And the colors really do come to life. So when people see it, they're going to be so surprised. They're going to be so loud. And they're going to say, usually they say, can I make another? And that's when you say it'll be another $5. Okay, there you go. So it's really fun. They're going to love it. Like I said, they're going to have lots of questions. Um, we have an FAQ page on our, on our website. So I highly suggest you familiarize yourself with that. Um, let's make sure, let me see. I want to make sure I keep, don't miss anything. Oh, if you have a storefront, okay? So yes, you guys have small businesses, but some of you guys have a physical location. You could start having classes, okay? $20 for do-it-yourself socks. You could do um, a picture frame, right? Um, something really cool like that, the tumblers. People love the tumblers because it's very DIY with the heat gun and things like that so you guys could start holding your own classes which would be really cool and then um, again you want to use that DIY make and take uh, jargon to get people involved um, and you could also uh, market for personalization parties in the in your in your space so that's just a whole nother new avenue that you might be able to explore if you have that actual physical shop um, something else that has come up um, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but doing yourself workshops in general, just over the last few years, have become ever so popular. So if they're already using our markers, you could consider trying to um, market sublimation printouts on regular copy paper. So then that way, that do it yourself workshop has that ability. So they could say, oh, I have a, a birthday party this weekend for Billy. They, you could say, okay, I can do happy birthday, Billy. Um, and you, they could make size it down for the coaster or the tumbler, and then everybody can color it in and you could sell those sheets to that do it yourself workshop. So that's something that you guys could do as well. Um, there are uh, so many other um, things in your communities that you guys can get involved with like homeschoolers, the boys and girl scouts club, um, club sports, you guys could do like uh, towels, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, you could do like uh, the Humane Society adopt-a-thons with uh, pet bandanas, YMCA summer camps, um, and even just these fun, um, you know, beer gardens. Right now, I know again a lot of this stuff is outside uh, pandemic time. So, what could we do during uh, the pandemic? Right? How could we get somebody um, markers that might not have them? Well, again, Condi has the original ten pack on Amazon. So if you wanted to say, okay, where can I send somebody to find the markers? You could definitely send them over to Amazon um, and have them be able to support Condi uh, through the 10 pack. So just know that. And then you could, this is something I've also seen done, charge simply for the blank and to use a heat press. So I've seen some storefronts who have heat presses charge like a dollar per press. And then people, you know, because they might have, that maybe they're making shirts already and they're using their home iron or they're using their craft press, you know, now you, you can give them that professional capability and charge like a dollar a press. So that's something else that you guys could do um, as well. So um, uh, don't forget that uh, Cheryl so showed you guys something pretty cool this afternoon, making your own stamps that will also stick to the acrylic block, which I thought was amazing. She made her own monogram, so don't forget that you guys can do that. Um, and then um, back to one thing I didn't touch on, and, and I don't know how much you guys um, might agree with this, but this is educational, right? With the schools, you can get the, the art teacher connected with the science teacher, and you guys could all just get together and have a great time holding the make and take, making money for the school, um, and then also, you know, maybe, uh, you know, taking a percentage of that for your small business. So I wanna make sure that I covered all the questions on the question board. Um, one of the questions that I thought was really good is what is the advantage of using the markers over somebody coloring something on with like Crayola markers and regular paper and, and transferring it uh, to your printer to print out and then transfer it, or excuse me, scan it into your printer and then transfer it onto the uh, blank. And the, what I'm gonna say so that is every time that the, the image uh, moves a step. So you have the color on the paper, right? And that's gonna look one way. Then you scan it into the printer. It's gonna read the colors a little differently. So the colors might get changed up there. Then it prints out, we all, you guys know more than I do about color and finicky and sublimation printers, okay? So 
I don't, that's all I need to say there. So the colors are going to change again once it's printed out. So yes, the image will like look like they, that they're the original image, but the colors are going to be maybe three shades different, you know, from the transfer in, print out, transfer again, you know, it's just not, and it doesn't give that like, wow, you know, I did that effect. So I thought that was a really good question. I wanted to cover that. Um, somebody also asked how they can become a dealer. Um, you can become a dealer by visiting us on artistbree.com and, um, uh, you know, filling out a dealer application. Um, email us at info at artistbree if you have any questions about that. Um, artistbree can, markers and iron and ink and um, the stamp pad can be used on glitter. So if you watch the Caesar class this afternoon, they showed you how it can be used on a glitter vinyl, the easy subly, so sublimatable vinyl that's out there. You guys can use that all with these products. If it's made for sublimation, it'll work with artistry products. Um, I think, did I, did I cover? I have some questions. All right, Allison has some questions. Um, pen holder. This is from uh, Poppin, P-O-P-P-I-N. Uh, they're an office supply company. It comes in a lot of different colors and I we're know. just a fan of red. And, and it's on, I think there's some choices on Amazon. Um, pen adapter for the electronic cutting machine. So let me go over that uh, real quick. Um, great question. So if you have a Cameo, you're gonna wanna have that pen adapter set that goes with the Cameo. So if you have a Cameo 3, you're gonna use your Cameo 3 pen adapter set. If you have the new Cameo 4, you're gonna wanna use your new Cameo 4 pen adapter set. If you have a Cricut, you have to use an off-brand adapter. Um, we recommend one on Amazon. It's like a tube with a screw. And uh, then the Brother, Scan and Cut, it fits as it is in the brother, no adapter needed. It's nice fit in the scanning and cut. And if they have any questions that we don't get to, I info at artist. You guys, can, like, you guys can email us info at artist free. Connect with us on social media. DM us on Instagram. Uh, we questions. can answer all your questions. And don't forget that you can go to artistfree.com slash support, and that is our FAQs and directions. So a lot of the questions that you guys have been asking are covered in our FAQs. Will it work with the cameo? Too? Yes, it'll work. As long as the Cameo 2 has a pen adapter, it will work. Okay, let's see what's your name, Sprite. Um, Sprite, anything on your end? Um, no, guys. Uh, they, um, can you say the uh, Facebook group again? Is it Iron on Ink? Sure, it's uh, Iron on Ink Inspirational Group. Allison will type it in the comments. All right, good. Um, Most of the, uh, somebody, Gia asked, how many times can you use the cling stamps? You can use them as many times. There, th this is, this is the same thing. Oh, I never showed how to inter interchange them. I could do that with the last 10 minutes. But this is essentially the same thing. This is rubber on, on wood. This is the traditional stamp, right? And then this is now cling polymer stamp on an acrylic block. So this is just the 2020 version of this. So let me show you how to change those. So all I have to do is peel it off. And ours are, we've been using them a lot, so that's why they're black. So actually, that's why it's really important you clean them after you use them. It's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna go on your next one, but you wanna keep them uh, nice and transparent. And then, actually, here's a set of cling stamps that we found at Joann. So you can get that acrylic block from Condi and then use um, all the cling stamps that you find at like Joann's and Michael's. So you just take, um, so this one's a flower, so I'm just gonna peel it right off the sheet, really easy. And then I'm gonna stick it on my um, acrylic stamp block. And why not, let's just make something else where we got the time. Someone said, how do you clean them? You clean them, so they're water-based, so I, I used a, a sanitizer wipe, you can use a stamp chamois, uh, you can use, uh, a paper towel and water. Um, they're very easy to clean, so you just want to clean them as soon as you can. So let me trace um, my coaster here again. And so, da da da. And again, tracing with a pencil. Okay, any other questions while I'm stamping John, away? John says, so simple. Uh, so can you pull them off and reuse them? Before? Yes, yes. So as you just, as you want. yep, as many times as you want. And what's really cool is you just take the um, cling stamps, you just peel them right off. And then, you know, when once you clean it off, you can just put it right back on its home. Um, 
you'll be able to see where like, especially with the camp stamps, like there's a, out, you know, there's an outline so you can see where it went. Okay, so, got this nice and inked up. Carol's live. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Ashley, can you hear me? So during yes, Carol's live, we had um, someone, I guess they, they do stamps a lot. And they said uh, for a tip was to um, turn the stamp face up and rub the stamp pad over the stamp that way. So you're not actually pressing the stamp into the stamp pad, which I thought was a pretty cool tip. I have to that use. That is a cool tip. Okay, guys, so here is my flower. Let's see if you can see. How great did that turn out? Like I could even just press that, but of course we're gonna color it in. Uh, any other questions while I'm coloring away here? Hey, do you know if you can um, cut stencils in the Cricut? You can, you can. So, the, um, I, forgive me because I'm not familiar like with the um, the actual like the name of the sheet that you're gonna put into your cutter to cut it. But yes, you the the Cricut and the Cameo, the brother. They all have the capability to make their own stencils. And what's so cool about that is uh, you can mirror that. So like those ideas with like the farmer's market, the make and take table, the sublimation station, you can set your attendees up for success by creating those mirrored things, whether it's a printout from your sublimation printer on regular copy paper that's mirrored or whether it's, um, a stencil and then you just you know keep uh, that friendly reminder for them that they want to have their first letter be on the on the right hand side of the page not the left and um, I know we don't have like too much time but normally I color in the whole coaster um, because when you color in something it just makes all the difference someone said so can you turn your regular stamps backwards and use them this way just curious so your design stamps will be fine. Your text stamps are need to be mirrored. Um, there is such thing as a mirror stamp. It's basically just a rubber blank stamp. So you stamp on the mirror stamp, and then you take the mirror stamp and you stamp on your paper. <laughs> okay, email us. So yeah, I'll send that to you. But this, you guys, is really cool. Um, we made this uh, gift and card sign with the markers, um, but look how awesome it looks when you when you color in the whole space. So um, we really like it when, uh, you know, there's not a lot of white showing because it really does uh, make all the difference. So I'm just gonna finish coloring my flower here. Do we have any more questions? Um, no, we're good. They join a little up to speed. Oh, everyone keeps asking about the bowl. Uh, about it's the not bowl? A bowl? It's the heart. Oh, um, so you guys, what is so cool, and this is something else to consider. Actually, this is a this is great. Keep the keep the questions coming because you guys are reminding us about things that I meant to cover. So, what's so awesome, as you guys know, with clear acrylic and glass, is you don't have to mirror your your words. So how cool is that, that, you know, if you don't want to print out stencils for people to color in and, and you don't want to make stencils with your electronic cutting machine, just pick up the clear acrylics that Condi carries. Um, and, and don't, you don't have to worry about that. Just use those for your make and takes for all your personalization parties. And then you don't even have to deal with the mirroring. That's something to really consider. This is a glass cutting board and that's why it made me think of it. That so they'll call, really come to life. Okay, let's let's press this one. Okay, so I'm actually gonna reuse my tape here. Okay. And I'm trying to think about there's anything else. Um you guys had a lot of really good questions, but I, I think we covered them. So just to recap, there is a 10 pack of colors. They're all chisel tip. Um, that is $24.99 uh, 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 on sale, special for Condi, special for uh, the virtual open house, basically special for you guys. So make sure you take advantage of that. And then also you're gonna want to, um, you're going to want to uh, check out the new colors, okay?
Okay, pack of six in each one. That black and and is my is awesome with that fine tip and that round tip for your electronic cutting machine. Um, it's really great. And then also you've got the pastels and the nomies to really expand your color palette. And then the primary pack is a great six pack as well. Donna says, can you use the chisel tip on the cutting machine? You can, Donna. It will work. I mean, you makers, um, you guys are resource. My table is a mess, I have to say. It started out so clean. Um, but it will work. But the round tip and the fine tip is better. Okay, so, so just know that it will work. But the round and the fine tip is better because it's not at an angle and it's directly on. So just keep that in mind. And uh, again, you have the pen adapter sets for your Cameo, the off-brand of pen adapters for your Cricuts, and then the scan and cut, snug as a rug, just right on in there, no adapter needed. So I, this, we're still using the, um, the uh, hardboard smooth coasters um, that Condi carries. And you know what I love about these two is if you wanted to do kids and, and, and make it a little more educational, instead of having them trace it, you could tell them to use a ruler, right? Three by five, three by five, you know, get them, um, you know, using that educational aspect as well. So that's just something else that you guys can consider. Um, maybe Sprite can answer the cutting boards for these cutting boards. People are asking. Oh yeah, you want to um, touch on that Sprite, the cutting boards? Yes, I, I, that is a Condi cutting board, isn't it? It is. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I thought. I believe that's actually our color light cutting board. Um, you got me on the part number, but I think it's YZ530, maybe, maybe. There you go, guys. Yay, look how cute. How cool is that? And you guys, um, I, I think we're, we're, this is it. This is the last 60 seconds of the I day. It, yeah. It's like the New Year's fireworks. Yeah, thank you guys so much. This has been awesome. I love, thank you for letting us end the, the great day too, Sprite. Oh, thank you. This was, this was probably my favorite one. So thank I won't you. tell anybody. Fun. Oh, shh. No, no, no. I, one of my favorite ones is what I said. <laughs> well, okay, guys, this has been an incredibly fun day. I am exhausted. I want to thank you all so very much. Um, hopefully these will play tomorrow. I hope so. If not, I will fix it for you. Thank you all so much. Ashley, Artist Free, thank you guys so much. You guys go to the website, place some orders, free shipping till the end of the day. That's wow. All. Happy sublimating. Yes. Happy creating. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.